Hey guys, Adam in the Airworks hangar, and it is Friday Fly Day. So Bella and I are gonna take a flight in 737 Whiskey Papa. We're gonna do a pre-flight, so we're gonna take you along for the ride, and uh, hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. First thing we gotta do is uh, check these fuel tanks, see if we need to get any fuel ordered up. Okay, we got 12 on this side. This one we got like 20. All right, in the cockpit here, we're gonna check and make sure everything is squared away. First thing I'm gonna do is take out the gust lock. I kind of work my way across and make sure the fuel is on. Cuff flaps are open, mixture's out, props full forward, that's out. Gear's down, trim is set, breakers are in, master for the avionics is off, flaps are up right now, all the toggle switches are off, we're good there. I'll go ahead and put some flaps in, so I'm gonna turn on the master. Clear on the flaps, we'll drop those down. That's good. Anything else I want to check, I could do that, but there's nothing else to check because it's all analog in here. We could note the uh, RPM, which we'll no note that down before we take off. Everything else is good. We got our cables in here. We got our registration. All good there. I'm going to grab my fuel sump cup, and I'm going to check the sumps here. I'll come over on your side too, Bella, in just a sec. This is not the sump, this is actually the fuel vent line. So the first thing I'm doing is just checking that there's no fuel in the vent line and you can see there's nothing in there. Now that I move out to the sump, I can sump some fuel out of here. And everything looks good there. I'll come over on your side, Bella, and check your vent. All right, so again, this is the vent line drain and you can see there's nothing coming out of there. So the vent, the cross vent from wingtip to the other fuel tank and wingtip to this fuel tank, though that vent line is clear and free. Now we're gonna check the sump. And we're looking for blue, which we have. We don't have any water, no sediment in there. Everything looks good. All right, so I'm starting here at the uh, Aircraft cabin, which I already checked. Checking our air vents, clear, I took the plug out. Coming down the leading edge here, everything looks good there. Taking off the pitot cover, making sure that everything is clear there, which it should be, because we're in a hangar and we have covers and plugs on. Stall warning lever is working great. Landing lights are installed and still there. Screws in the wingtip are here. Over the top are here. We'll take off another cover here. That is our left fuel vent. Drop that. You come around the back, you can kind of show that there. So this line right here is a vent for the other side. So the right wing's fuel vent is on this side and the left wing is on the other side. That was what that drain is that we were checking. Checking our ailerons here. Bolts are installed. This on the Cardinal, it's kind of hard to see. It's not like a 172. It's actually fared up inside of there. We're making sure it moves nice and smooth in the right direction. Onto our flap. Flap we can see, so we're looking for the lock nut. Here's the actual push rod. Has some play in it. Good there, the track's installed. Another safety nut or lock nut and a track. Should have a little bit of movement and not much slop side to side. I already checked the tire earlier, but since we're here, we can look at that. No leaks. Tire's got pressure coming down the side. We're going to get to the baggage compartment in a minute because our battery is still charging right now. All right, so we've still got our battery plugged in. We're going to leave that tender on there. We're checking our fuselage. Dorsal fin, fairing screws are good. Everything looks good there. 
our stabilator, checking that, making sure we've got screws on the wing tip or stabilator fairing. Want to check for movement, up and down, nice and smooth. And on the stabilator, we can actually check it for any slop left and right, which it has none. Don't want to push on the trim tab, but we can look in this tail cone here and just make sure that the push rod and everything is moving smoothly and there's nothing interfering with that, which it is. Looks good. Rudder looks good. I can see both cables. All the fairings are installed, working our way around the stabilator here. Again, screws installed. Wing stabilator tip looks good. No damage there. Inspection covers installed. Screws are on. No vibrating screws. Everything looks good there. GPS antenna is secure. Fuselage body looks good. Windows look good. Right side flap, same thing here. Track looks good. Looks like there's still some grease in there. Safety nut on there. Push rod had some movement. Safety nut, safety nut, safety nut. Checking for some movement, not too much, and not too much sideways slop. Working our way out to the aileron here. Again, the right aileron, same thing. We're making sure we have full movement and the other side is doing the opposite. All right, looking for that push rod, looks good here. Taking off rather vent cover right here. Again, this is the right vent, but this is venting the left fuel tank. So we wanna make sure that's secure and it's not damaged and it's clear. We had plugs on there, so that's good. Screws on the wingtip are secure. Leading edge looks good. Our side mirror for gear retraction is in place. Covers are on. Work our way over here to the right side. Air duct is clear. And then we have an avionics port here that we also take out and that is also clear. And then we have an oil cooler air intake and that looks clear as well. All right, we'll check our oil. First thing I'm gonna do is look inside the oil door Make sure that everything looks good. I don't see anything leaking. Nothing new in there. I don't know if that's going to stay or not. I'll just put this down. And we are at just slightly above six. Six is our minimum. We'll probably add half a quart maybe even a quarter of a quart. Cardinal likes to run right around six. So you put any more, it just spits it out. So we'll probably add some before we take off. Don't want to over tighten that, just make sure it's in the grooves and snug. And that is clear. We do have two other fuel sumps that we didn't uh, do yet. We'll get to those in just a second. Making sure the exhaust is tight and the bolts are installed. Same thing with the gear. We've got some linkages here, gear door. It has a little bit of play because it's supposed to. Same thing with the side doors. Front tire looks good. Wires are intact for the squat switch. This aircraft just had some gear work done, so we're gonna be checking that out today. Cowling screws are installed. And ooh, we got a spinner screw that's out right here. We're gonna tighten that up. That's one of the reasons we want to check these right here. This guy right here was loose, so we'll be snugging that up. I'll grab a screwdriver real quick. Yeah, it's a little weird that one was out. I wonder if maintenance did that and didn't snug it up because I've never had that come loose before. Just check all these other ones real quick. It's not a big deal. They're all snugged up. Nice. Reach in here, check the alternator belt, snug, and in good shape. And we can also look in there with our, watch yourself there, I'm gonna rotate this a little bit. Turning the prop counterclockwise. 
or counter from the way it normally rotates. Intakes look clear. I don't see anything up in the cowling. Clear on this side. No leaks, no nothing out of the ordinary down here. Checking the prop, making sure we don't have any big nicks or cuts. Nice and smooth. This is a constant speed prop, so we'd also want to be looking for maybe oil leaks around the hub. We don't see anything there. Of course, we check that on run-up as well. And back around this side, same thing with the cowling. Screws are intact. Everything looks good there. So we have those other two sumps we're going to check really quick. All right, so we got two other sumps in the belly. One is under the engine with a pull uh, fuel strainer, and then we have the one under the pilot seat. So we'll go ahead and go down here. I'll give Bella that cup so she can get a close-up of that. When you're ready, Bella, I'll pull that. Get my hands. Here it is. Here we go. Okay. And same thing there, looks good. Come over on the pilot side. This one, you gotta get down here. There's a, like a T-handle right under the pilot seat and there is a hole right here. And I simply pull out on the, and let go, make sure it's closed and we have the final sump from the bottom of the aircraft, the lowest point. And then we end up with uh, just retracting those flaps after we've done our last fuel sump. So battery on, flaps up, make sure they verify they go up. It's another chance to hear the flap motor without any engine noise. And just one last look over everything before we shut it back down again. We also notice that we have the green gear down light, we can also test the other one to make sure the up light works. So we know our lights are working there and we know the gear's down because we're on the ground. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn that off. Last thing I do before we take off is I disconnect the battery tender and this is basically a, a battery maintainer. Make sure that all the cells stay in the proper uh, voltage and chemical balance, if you will. Uh, and that's just trickle charging through the back battery area here. And uh, we'll just unplug that and get going. a little bit more. Let that drain out of the funnel. Can't go flying without with dirty windows, so we're using the good old classic lemon pledge. Spray that on there, and we're wiping in a back and forth direction, not in a swirl motion. It's good for the windows. Gets the bugs off, but doesn't scratch the windows. Okay. Last step, open the hanger.
Waiting for a couple things to warm up. Oil pressure's good. Two three three at whiskey at gateway taxi VFR information. Temps good. One five and a line. Got that. Got three at whiskey. Commercial ground runway three three taxi via Charlie Bravo. Taxi via Charlie Bravo the three three seven eight eight or two three three at whiskey. Okay. Flight instruments checked and set. Checked. Fuel quantity check. Check. Fuel selector both. On. We only have on. Oh, makes you rich. Okay, will be. Throttle 1800 RPM. Okay. Clear behind us. Clear. Okay. Makes you rich. And then check the magnetos. And then propeller cycle, then high RPM. Production. Production RPM. gauge. Production gauge check. Hold on. Okay. Suction gauge good. Engine indicators check. Good. Ammeter. Good. High voltage light not shown. Right. So Throttle 1000 RPM. Throttle fri friction lock adjust. I'm going to lean it because we're going to be, still be taxing here. Avionics set. Okay. Nav GPS selector opt set. Good. You Auto got key rack set in here? Electric trip check. What? Let's get our, where we're going in here. Okay. All right. We're all set. I'll roll down to, uh, let's get the procedures up here for a flight diagram. Your trim set. Yep. Clear right. Clear right. Get off the ground, Cardinal 737 Whiskey Papa. At Echo 1, like to taxi to 33 for departure to the north with whiskey. Seven Whiskey Papa, Knurse Ground, Runway 33, Taxi, Echo 1, Charlie, cross 7 right at Echo 1. Echo 1, Charlie, ca cross uh, 7 right at Echo 1 to uh, 33, 7 Whiskey Papa. All right, um, let's do our before takeoff list, please. We've already covered the, the, the run up. Flip it. Okay, call flaps. Call flaps open. open. Mixture at or below ridge lean. Yep. Okay. Elevator trim set for takeoff. Yep. Rudder trim takeoff. Check. Flaps here to 10. 10 recommended. Okay. Lights on as required. Takeoff and departure briefed. Emergency procedures briefed. Okay. Do we know what we're doing on this? So takeoff, we're taking off straight out. Anything happens less than halfway, we'll uh, pull the throttle, set it back down, brake. If we're past the halfway point, we're in the air, we're going to go straight ahead. There's some fields over there. If we lose the engine for some reason and we're below 500, we're going straight ahead and we're going to gear up into a field. If we're above 500 and we can make a turn left or right or get back, we can do that. Um, that's it on that one. Windows and doors. Um, if I need you to shut the fuel off for some reason, an emergency, it's down there. You know how to get out the doors. And that is it. I'm note. Doors and windows closed and latched. Yep. And then parking brake release. All right. So we will roll up here to the hold short. And rotate is at 55. Climb speed 65 to 75. Yeah, so I'm looking at my, uh, this airspeed has knots on the inside and miles an hour on the outside. So I look at the rotate 65, climb at 85. All right, so we're going to go 10 degrees. Flaps are coming down. Not much, but they do. And then when they give us the go-ahead to go on, we'll put strobes on. Mixture full rich, okay? Those guys are off. Anybody else in the pattern here that we know of? All right, we'll roll up to the line here. And we are going to tower. Tower, Cardinal 737 Whiskey Pop, holding short at 3 3, ready for departure. 737 Whiskey Pop, a Roger, fly the runway heading runway 
33, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, uh, runway 33, clear for takeoff, 737 West Cabapa. Trouble's on. Electrical Ridge. Kenosha Tower, uh, November 522 Alpha Tango, uh, 7 left. We're ready to uh, take off. We'd like to request uh, uh, 7 left uh, ILS again. Uh, 7 left, you can't because there's. 522 Alpha Tango, hold short of runway 7 left. There we go. Let's hold us. short, uh, 7 left. Clear right. 2 Alpha Tango. Clear right. 233 Whiskey, turn left on course. Turn left on course, 233 Whiskey. Okay, right. Whiskey Fox, I just plan on going northbound after departure. Northbound after departure, 7 West Club. Full power, engines in the green. Five, rotate. Remember, Bella, you're gonna be watching the gear here in a second, okay? Yeah. Just let me know when you put them up. So as we get past this halfway part here. All right, ready? Tap the brakes. Gear's coming up. What? Pump is in motion. Gears up, flaps up. Yeah, now they're all the way. Okay, they're taking off and landing 3-2 Racine, so we might have to do some, uh, where's my north here? Let me get north. Tower, Vision Jet 703, Sierra Julius, uh, with you for the visual seven left. 703 Sierra Julie, come on, tower. Number two, filing jet traffic, short final. Seven left, clear to land. Number two, uh, clear to land, seven left. 703 Sierra Julia. Keep an eye on them cow flaps, please make sure they're open. I just did, but. That's something you have to watch out for. I don't know. Just look out the window, don't worry about that. They're wearing, we're in airspace here, so. That proceed northbound. I see them on the radar here ahead of us, but I'll just kind of level off here at like 24. You got, is this in here? Um, that's the ASOS, yeah. This is? That one, and then the tower's the other one. Two Celsius. Altimeter, two niner, niner, niner. Remarks. Blake Press 16, turn to the right on Bravo, taxi to parking this frequency. Patton, turn to the right to parking with you, Lake Bowen. Weather observation, 1950, Zulu. 522 Alpha Tango, fly the runway heading, runway 7 left, clear for takeoff. Jet tra tra traffic on about a 3 mile final. Clear for takeoff, uh, runway heading 7 left, 2 Alpha Tango. Start slowing this thing down a little bit. I got flaps in. Flaps down. So you watch the gear again. Ready? Gear's coming down. Yeah, it's coming. I'm making a call here. Batten traffic, uh, Cardinal 737 Whiskey Pop is on a uh, five mile final for runway four, Batten. Gears down and locked, okay? Yep. Oh, there's runway, right? Yeah, right here. Elevation there is 674, so we want to be about 1600. We're 
just going to do a touch and go straight out and I'm on the downway. Baton traffic, Cardinal 737 Whiskey Pops on three mile final runway four, Baton traffic. Cardinal 737 Whiskey Pops on a uh, two mile final runway for Baton traffic. I'm going to start descending here. They got this big antenna at the end there. Gears coming up. Look at this quarry off to the left here. Flaps coming up. Gear is up. That was like 26 seconds. Jeez. Was it just really slow moving or? Well, it would like go up and then pop out a little bit and then it would go up again, but yeah, it was kind of slow. Okay. All right, you want to start looking at uh, Kenosha or uh, Waukegan stuff? Uh, what do you want? You could do it here. Cause just get it on the standby side. ATIS or whatever. I'm going to start turning southbound. Anybody on the right? I'm gonna call here real quick. Am I still on the frequency here? Yeah, I just changed okay. the bottom one. Baton traffic, Cardinal 7 West Pops on a climb out runway 4. We'll be turning uh, southbound along the shoreline. Baton. Look under my right wing real quick. Clear down the shoreline. Clear. Okay. Pretty. Stop at 2500 here. Waukegan Tower, Cardinal 737 Whiskey Papa is three, uh, 13 to the north along the shoreline inbound for landing runway 5 with X ray. 737 Wings Power King Tower Report. Midfield left downwind for runway 5. Report midfield left downwind for runway 5, so what's Papa? That's easy enough. Requesting clearance via taxiway Alpha from Fire Road to the main ramp. 735 King Tower Roger, proceed uh, main ramp via Alpha. 
Zero's down. Chain rep via Alpha, 10 4. Clear on the right. Clear. App open. App. Good. Five. No feet. Gears coming up again. Brakes on. Gears up. Birds on the end here. Flaps up. 